YouTube land. Here I am staying warm out here by moving around. It's a little chilly. Look at that. That's frost. That's frost on the grass back there. That's pretty darn cold. So this is the X12. A lot of you wanted to see it. I'm going to speak really fast because it is cold. Uh, it has a three axis gimbal, three axis gimbal. So that's pretty decent. It actually shoots at a solid 30 frames a second in 1080p. So it's got a 1080p camera on here. And it's supposed to have a, a range of like almost, not a mile, but closer to it. It's over a kilometer. It's like 1,200 meters. I don't think I'm going to get 1,200 meters because, anyways, it's one of those things where you connect to the controller or you can connect to the drone. You'll see when I, I set it up. 25-minute flight time. So uh, I'm going to stop talking here because it's kind of chilly. And let's get out and fly this. Here we go. Let's open up this case here. So inside we have our beautiful little drone. It's a... Uh, very nice. Can you see that little camera over there? That's a nice looking drone. So I'm going to unfold this really quick. In the unboxing, you'll see all about this drone, how everything works. Uh, hey, that must be the back and that must be the front because there's your three axis gimbal right there. You have these little arms that come down just like on a Mavic Air. Gives it a little bit of height off the ground. There we go. Batteries in. There's actually a micro SD card right there, which is pretty sweet. You can see on the bottom, got some ultrasonic sensors, optical flow, three axis gimbal in the front, micro SD card slot right there. Here we have the controller. It is rechargeable. And to power this on, it's basically a push and a hold, and it should power on. Where have I heard that tune before? Power on the controller. There we go. Two green lights means we are connected. One thing I want to show on my phone is you can see right here. I don't know if you can see it on my controller. You see, I can connect to the controller or the drone. Always connect to the controller if you're going to use the controller. Only connect to the drone if you're not going to use the controller. Joyfly is the app. While we're waiting to get the GPS signal, let me just show you the interface here. You have general settings, so you can put in beginner mode. I'm using left hand. My altitude is set at 120 meters. There's my voltage. Hey, it's not too bad. Low power alarm is at 10%. I can do a gyro calibration, which I'm doing now. There we go. That just keeps it level. Now I'm going to do a compass calibration. Which you can do now. So calibrate. And it's going to be one of these rotating thingies like this. Put the camera upwards and spin some more. Calibration successful. There we go. And on the bottom, I have my firmware version. If I want to view that, in case anybody's wondering what they have at the time I'm recording this, that's my firmware. It says I have 17 satellites. So to me, that's a lot of satellites up in the right hand corner. So I should be able to fly. Pull out. There we go. Let's take it up. Nice and slow. I like drones that can rise nice and slow. It stays ridiculously stable because it's got optical flow, sonic sensors, it's got GPS in it, everything. It's really good. Oh my God, look at how nice and slow it rotates. That is beautiful for photography. And forward. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Okay, that flies really nice. Here, let me just bring that down. Now you're all wondering, well, how does it film then? Well, let me put the record on. There we go. We should be recording. That should be the video. Uh, let me just try this little gimbal. I have a little dial here. How's the gimbal dial for smoothness up and down? Okay, I'm going down. How's that? Is that smooth looking down? Is that, then I'll go back up. Is that smooth looking up? The smoother it is, the more pro it is for filming. And let me just fly it over my head. All right, let's take it up before I run out of battery power because it is cold out here. Let me just take it up nice. And uh, as I'm going up, I'm spinning it just to see how it looks. I don't want to face it into the sun because the sun is very bright right now. What you should be looking for or what I'm looking for on my screen is jello. I don't see any on my screen. It's good. The image actually looks quite good on the screen that I'm seeing here. So I'm assuming it's working quite well. Move forward. Smooth flight. Looks good. Looks good. Let's bring it back and do uh, some gimbal tests on it. All right, we're going to do the old uh, gimbal test here. So let me just get it on an angle so the sun's not killing it too much. All right, so here's what happens on a gimbal test. I put the drone up. I look at me. I'm recording and I'm going to move the drone side to side really fast. There you go. So on a normal drone without a gimbal, that would be just a disaster. See, I've got it going everywhere. That would be like terrible video quality. How's that? Got it forward, backward, side to side. So I'm going to say the gimbal works. 
because I don't see anything happening on my screen here, so that's good. All right, so let me just show you the features really quick. It's got some cool features. It does say the follow me is supposed to be extra special, so I don't know what that means. Let's try that and find out what extra special means. Let's take it back. Usually when you go into the GPS follow me modes, they want you to get away from the camera. Let's bring that down. On the top, I have position, track. Let's go track. It says track at five. So you can go four, five, three. What can you go up to? Eight, nine. That must be meters. Yeah. Oh, look at that. No, no. Look what happens. I didn't see that. Watch. If I move this up and down, the drone goes up and down. It says, what height do you want to track at? So you can track as low as two. Okay. I'm curious on two. Okay, that is crazy. That is just insane, guys. Really? You can track on two. All right, so as I'm moving here, it's tracking me. I'm not doing anything. The, as I move to walk towards the drone, it just keeps on moving because it's in follow me mode. Here, let me go this way. Let me switch. Let me switch. It's gotta come. It's gotta come. You gotta come. <laughs> Look at it go. I'm not doing anything. It's just doing exactly what it's supposed to. This is pretty wild. Drones that can track low is pretty sweet to me. Let me just put it up at a normal height. Okay, so you would normally probably track at like seven maybe. There's seven up there. Let's bring it down. It's on me. Tracking at seven. I'm walking this way. How is that? Like I said, it's supposed to have a good track. Not one of those start-stop things, start-stop. It's supposed to be really smooth from what I understand of reading the instructions. And uh, that looks pretty good. Well, I'm going to change angle. Look at this. I'm almost off the camera. Is it going to figure it out? Ah, I'm off the camera. Oh, it's coming back. It's getting me. It's getting me. And now it's in front. It just keeps, it's trying to get me in the best possible position it can. Front, back, side, whatever. All right, so we're going to have to say the tracking is uh, pretty darn sweet on this. Can't fault it for that. It looks really good. Okay. So let's get out of track and let's go into orbit. So orbit mode. Oh, it's one of those orbits. Okay. So orbit, do you see how it's just spinning around in 360? Like it's confused. Those are one of those orbit modes that I have to pull, pull it back. So watch, I pull it, the radius. Now watch what happens. I've just increased the radius. It's one of those orbits. So you'd put it over something, you hit orbit and then you pull the radius. It, some drones, they tell you to set the radius, uh, set the position, and then hit go. This one is basically one shot. You just hit orbit, starts orbiting, you then set the radius. Works in reverse. And it's very smooth. It's right there. And I think I can move it up and down. Yeah. So I can bring it down. Whoa! I didn't want to bring it down that fast. And I can bring it back up. <laughs> That's pretty good. Let's do some filming then, if we're out here for a wonderful day of filming. Let's take it up. I'll take some uh, video and some photos. Okay, I'm gonna try a photo. So now it's looking at me. I'm the little dot down on the football field. That's a photo. There we go. Try one looking that way. I'll just lift up the horizon a bit. Try that photo. That's a nice photo. There we go. All right, I've been flying for a while. It says I'm at 40% power and I'm gonna hit the return to home. And uh, let's see how close it lands to the landing pad where it took off over here. I guess I should take my camera off it. It's coming down, coming down. And it's gone. Oh, is it coming down? It's gonna land. Ultrasonic sensors are telling it there's something there. Should I shut off the motors or not? Yep, it's getting you okay to shut off the motors. Nice. And if I go this way, there's the landing pad. And there's my beautiful little drone. All right, uh, what can I say about this drone? You know, it performed flawlessly for me out there. I'm, I'm really impressed with this drone. It's really good. It might be like one of my best low cost drones. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at the video footage. From what I saw, my controller looked good. 
and how this handled in the air, really decent. And especially when I was flying at long range, never once did it glitch up and say, oh, losing reception or losing video. It just kept on going, smooth video all the way around. I was just rotating around me, going all over the place. So all in all, thumbs up to this drone, really good. I'm gonna put links below to where you can find it. I do not know the price. I do not know if it's on sale. I believe it comes in two colors, white and black, but that's pretty much all I know. Anyways, if you have any questions about this drone, post them below and I will answer them. If I missed anything you wanted to see, just post the question below and I will check it out. All right, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one. And this is the part of the video where I do a quick unboxing. So here we go. Look at this beautiful case it comes in. It's not too bad. Inside we have some, well, foam. And remove that, and there you go. First thing inside, we find the X12 Quick Start Guide. Next, we have the drone, the battery, the strap for your case, accessories, and the controller. Let's take a quick look at the drone. It is a foldable drone with foldable props, foldable arms, and brushless motors right here. First thing I can tell you about the top, it has a rubbery feel to it. It feels like uh, yeah, a little bit of a rubber texture coating on the plastic. Unfolding the arms, we'll see the full size. There we go, this here drone comes in brilliant white. Taking look at the back the first thing we see indicator light and it tells you right here this is also the power button a little bit of instructions remove this piece of plastic before you fly going along the arms you can see the legs you have to pull them down so that you get some ground clearance next on the left hand side there is utterly nothing on this side and flip to the right hand side right hand side once again nothing there no sensors top no sensor side just the power button on the back and we go to the front and we see our beautiful three axis gimbal because it does well let's go over the axis we have side to side like this you know if your drone tilts and then you've got if your drone goes this way and that way you have this way and that way which is pretty good and then you have if your drone goes this way and that way you have the sort of up and down motion so yep looks like a three axis gimbal to me 1080p camera very nice lens take a look at the lens it actually looks like a good lens on the bottom you can see the mechanism right here nice little cover you pull that out and that's where your uh, micro sd card goes right in there this massive hole would be for the battery on the back you can see you have two ultrasonic sensors that's for your height and then you have a nice little optical flow camera right there so that it keeps it in position when you're indoors and if it's working outside it will do the same thing outdoors next we have the battery right here which fits in the bottom and this battery does not have a power button on it it just has a place to charge it which is right here it is a three cell battery at 11.47 volts and it is uh the capacity is 2400 milliamps to charge up the battery the kit comes with a really nice charger right here so this battery would just fit inside lock it in place and then your charger right here you would attach a usb cable this light will indicate when it's fully charged next we have a controller very nice looking it has a nice little rubbery feel to it as well so that's not going to fall out of your hands if you're sweating and uh, limited number of buttons but easy to understand so you know you have your return to home your camera your video take off land right here your power button it is rechargeable so i should get some power there we go and if we take a quick look at the front nothing there and over here we have just one dial that's going to control your camera gimbal to make the camera look up and down to connect your cell phone to the controller you get a cell phone holder right here and the cell phone holder fits into the bottom of the controller right there and for extra goodies you get a usb cable to charge up everything your battery and your controller as well as two spare foldable props and a little allen wrench so that you can install them and here we have the battery in the drone so let's see how much the entire drone weighs 437 grams.